Before moving on with the supply module and looking at creating suppliers and all things to do with suppliers, I think it's worth just looking at reports and some of the reports for the customer module. We'll look at the age debtors analysis and also some sales reports and perhaps other things that will be useful to you. It's important to note that we don't have that much information on QuickBooks currently. We only have two customers and we've only raised two invoices and two credit notes. So, they, so the reports are not going to be that detailed. But I still think it's worth looking at them at this point in the course. We want to go to the reports module, which is in the sidebar here. Click on reports. It's likely that you will have recommended reports by default and that's fine. Let's go to this report, which is A slash R aging summary, which is your age debtors analysis. If we click on that, you'll then get your age debtors appear on the screen. It may just take a little while to load. And here is our very small, but age debtors analysis. We have our two customers, the current amount owed. If they were past payment terms, we would have their figures in one of these columns, one to 30 days overdue, 31 to 60 days overdue, 61 to 90 days overdue, and 91 days plus overdue. We have the total amount owed here and here. We may come back to these reports at the end of the course when we have a lot more information for these reports just so uh, it looks a bit better and you can better grasp what these reports are for. Let's go back to the reports module and this time we'll look at some sales management reports. If you go to management reports on the ribbon here and click you will have a few different reports you can run a sales performance, expenses performance and company overview. If you go to sales performance, click view, you'll then have this management report for this calendar year. You have a table of contents, a profit and loss, an age debtors analysis, and also sales by customer summary. And I'll show you what these reports look like. So here's a small PL. Once again, we have our age debtors analysis, not as detailed as the other report, but nonetheless, it is one. And then a customer summary, so sales by customer with 300 with Clearview training and 105 with Sagebooks. Going back to this screen, the management report screen, you can run the period for the report for the year, for a quarter, for a month, for a week, just for a day. And if you go down, can do it for yesterday, last week, last quarter, last year, the last 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, last 365 days. So there's lots of report periods that you can run. So there's just some quick reports for you that are very useful and are created at the click of a button. It's important to note that the reports are only as accurate as the information put into Sage, so make sure your data is up to date and accurate. In the next video, I want to look at the supply module and start going through a number of aspects of the supply module. You'll be surprised how simple and straightforward it is because it's very similar to the customer module. The only difference is suppliers that we are allocating data to rather than customers. Please click on the links to go to the next video.